Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another draft site video courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, it's a new year. I got a new red hair color and I'm going to be sharing with you tips about a new software product. That's right. What's happening around here? We're switching everything up and I'm also going to be sharing with you this great tip that has to do with gestures. Okay not the kind of gestures that you're going to want to be sharing with Autodesk when you get your AutoCAD built, not those kind of gestures. But this is a tool that's not inside of AutoCAD and I love it. I just discovered it. You're going to want it. So it's going to allow you to very quickly execute your favorite draft site commands. And that's the whole goal, right? To get our jobs done as fast as possible, unless you get paid by the hour, in which case just turn this tip right off. You don't want to listen to me. All right, so we have the ability to customize the buttons on our mouse, right? And uh, But we uh, also, inside a draft site, have the ability to control what happens when we hold down the right mouse button and we simply move it in different directions. Oh, I love that. So you can set it up for your favorite command. So you can just go, 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 go. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have it set up, for example, so that if I, uh, it's set up by default, incidentally, so that if I hold the right mouse button down and I go straight up, it's supposed to do a zoom extents, which is called zoom boundary inside of a uh, draft site. Let me undo that. I can also move it to the right, move it straight over to the right. It goes into the line command. I can just start drawing a big old thick line there. But the point is, is very quickly, I didn't have to go into any menus. I didn't have to, to type an L for line or anything like that. It went straight into the line command. I love that. Tell me then, how do you do that? It's magic. <laughs> it's also done in the mouse gestures tool. Let's take a look at this. Now, the first thing you need to do is decide just how coordinated you are. I will be the first to admit, not so coordinated. Uh, so you can set it up for four gestures, which means you'll be controlling what happens when you move the mouse up, down, left, and right. Or for those of you who are coordinated, you can also set up commands as you move the mouse to the diagonals as well. All right, we're gonna live on the edge. We're gonna pretend that we're coordinated. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna show you just the assigned commands so far. These are the defaults. You can change these very easily. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You can see here line is set up so that when I move, I hold the mouse down, mouse button down and I, and I shimmy over to the right. You can see open is what happens when I shimmy over to the left, right? When I gesture over to the left. And now same with, now open and save, you know, I'm not as excited about those because it's very easy to get to those from the quick access toolbar. I would be very tempted to override those with other tools that I can't get to so easily, right? You can see copy is down and over to the left. That's one of those tricky diagonals. And you'll see there's a trim up and over to the right. And then you'll see the zoom bounds or the uh, zoom extents that I showed you down, which is straight up. So how do I change these? I'm gonna show you how to change it because they're so easy to do. I'm a big fan of power trim as opposed to tr trim's great too, but you saw my last video, if you watch it, I love the power trim command. Oh my gosh, I would have done anything to have that inside of AutoCAD. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you do a search for whatever command you want to assign to your gesture. I'm gonna do a search for power trim. Shows up right away. Let's look, look at how easy this is. You just drop this down and decide which gesture you want to assign to it. Now I will be the first to admit, these are itty bitty. They're very hard to see. Uh, I want to give it the same one as trim, which was, I believe, up and over to the right, which is the last one right here. That's it. I'm done. That's easy. I can check it out if I want. Let's go see. Did it work? It doesn't ask you, by the way. It doesn't say, hey, you're about to override trim. It doesn't say that. It just assumes you know what you're doing. So I like that. And so there it is, power trim. So I'm set. Let's see how it went. Let's see. If, can I do a, if I do a copy, if I go down and over to the left. Oh, by the way, did you see that? Let's do that again. I want you to see this wheel. So you can also, as you are holding the mouse button down and you move around, this wheel will pop up reminding you what you have set for your gestures. So it's a nice friendly reminder. So you can just click on that wheel as well. That's what's happening. It went into copy. If I wanted to, you know, I could pick this truck and I can make a bunch of copies of trucks because trucks are expensive. I mean, we love trucks, right? <laughs> Who doesn't love a truck? All right, so that's copy. And I did tell you that I set power trim. Should we see, did it work? 
You know I love my power trim. Let's see, let's, what's a good thing to trim away? That's supposed to be up and over to the right. That's a tricky one, up and over to the right. Let's see, did I get it? There it is. It's actually easier sometimes to pick it off the wheel, which is what I did there. And then let's see, let's go. Here we go. Woo, oh my gosh, I love this feature. Look at that, it's just having, it's trimming away. I love it. Power trim is off and off, awesome. Single click, no cutting edges, it just goes. I love it. If you didn't get a chance to watch that video, be sure to do it, although you're gonna be super jealous. All right, so there are, so try these gestures. You're gonna love it. Remember, you can download a free trial of Draft Side. Don't listen to me, don't believe me. Just try it for yourself. You're gonna love it. And you don't have to worry about figuring out how to, how to plant that money tree. You're gonna save tons of money. All right, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you back here for my next video. And hey, you, please have a very happy new year. Thank you for joining me.